Hey, I'm Josh. Today we're going to be talking about three closed back audio file builds, primarily for mobile use. We're going over the pros, the cons, the differences in build quality, the differences in features between three very different systems at very, very different price tags. The system on the left here is a AKG K361 and an Apple dongle. This system is around about a hundred bucks right now. 10 bucks for the Apple dongle, which they make with either the lightning connector or the USB-C version. Uh, I recommend getting the Apple brand. They actually measure very well. And then the K361 is actually $90 right now. So really good value for that. This system, which is the Close Sandara and the Moon River 2 is gonna clock in about $600, $400 for the headphones and $200 for the Moon River 2. And then this is our most expensive with the Celesti and the Pokey 2 coming in a, about $1,400. So very different price tags. And I'm making this video to give you a bunch of options for one, but also talk about some of the pros of the really low end stuff and some of the cons of the really high end stuff and vice versa, show you why some of the high end stuff is better than the low end stuff. But I wanna tell you why I paired these together and which systems I think are worth it and which systems are not. So let's go ahead and start with build and features. So uh, the build quality of each kind of goes in line with its price tag. On the AKG, you are gonna be seeing this use of plastic materials, um, not really a high-end build in terms of uh, the material choice or the, the physical looks. It looks fairly generic in my opinion. There are some really cool features about how it folds up and things like that, and I'll talk about that. But then you have the more wood and metal design of the Sundara clothes, which definitely has higher end materials, something that is kind of equivalent for its price tag. It's also fairly lightweight and pretty comfortable, though they all kind of have their comfort corks. Uh, for example, the ear cups on the AKG are really, really nice. They're not that wide from side to side, but they're very tall, so they accommodate most ears. Whereas the Sundaras are rounded and they're fairly small. They are not very big cups. They uh, don't really accommodate everyone's ears very well. A common complaint about the Sundara and the Closed is that they don't fit people's ears. For headband though, I do think that the best headband here is not in terms of build quality, but in terms of comfort is definitely the Sundara. The strap is just, it's really nice conforming to any shape and size head. It just feels really good. The AKG has sort of a stiffer headband. That's actually a hot spot. You feel it right on the very top of your head. And then the Celesti kind of does this balancing act where it's got kind of very good everything. It's got wide oval cups that kind of accommodate basically everyone's ear. And I think these headphones feel fairly comfortable for most people. The Sundara Close is very good at managing heat. It doesn't get very hot. And the Celesti, I never have any problems with it overheating despite uh, very nice material use, which typically get hot on other headphones, but on this one doesn't seem to be a problem. But the AKG does feature something that neither of the others have, which is a very flexible and collapsible design. That's the wrong way. Okay, so it collapses up like this, right? Another benefit to this build, if you could even call it that, I know people don't plan on dropping their headphones, but I would not trust a fall for either of these other headphones. I think for build toughness, the AKG is definitely a little bit tougher than the other two. Now, when you get up to the higher end $1,000 Celesti, you are talking about material choices and build quality that is superior to the others. Uh, the pad material, the physical looks of the device, the use of leathers and Alcantara, and it even comes with things like a additional carry case, which the others don't which at this price is appreciated. So let's talk about the choice of pairing. I wanted to pair these with different types of DAC amps, but also uh, with different sound quality and sound feature DAC amps uh, between all of these uh, and also different price ranges because they're all you know, very different price ranges. It doesn't make sense to pair a $400 DAC amp with a $90 headphone in my opinion. The simplest is the Apple dongle, right? It's just a either USB-C or lightning to 3.5 millimeter. The Moon River is a little bit more complicated. It does require this separate uh, USB-C cable to work and it will go to either a 3.5 millimeter unbalanced connection or a 4.4 millimeter balanced connection. Uh, and this is a balanced DAC amp with volume controls on the side. And then the Pokey, 
is the most complicated. It has Bluetooth in, it has USB in, it can do EQ options. It's of course got several filter options on the top, several input options, gain options. And similar to the Moon River 2, we'll do either 3.5 millimeter or 4.4 millimeter balanced. Now the tricky part about all of these is that they're all very efficient. And in my opinion, they can all be driven off of just this Apple dongle in terms of volume output, but you get different levels of specifically bass response and openness and kind of vocal uh, timbre, I would say, uh, depending on the different amplifiers. And that's why I think the selection of pairings that I've done here work really well. So the AKG has the least audio change from amp to amp to amp. It's not a very revealing headphone, which is good because you can use it on anything. It's gonna basically sound the same all the time. You can switch from your phone to your laptop. It's usually gonna sound really good if you have a decent output. The Sundara is a little bit more picky because it's already got a very warm kind of muddy sound signature, I would say. Uh, so it needs something that I think hits very cleanly and values cleanliness over power or warmth. And I think that's what you get with the Moon River. So you get a, in my opinion, a more controlled output for its bass response specifically, which I think this headphone needs. And it's also got a little bit more clinical high end. And I would say that it's got a little bit more neutral and even of a tuning than either the Apple dongle or the Pokey. Now the Pokey is the warmest amp here. And funnily enough, it actually doesn't measure nearly as well as the Moon River in terms of just being a super neutral amplifier. But I do think that it sounds the best, but it depends on what you pair it with. So again, the AKG is not gonna change all that much. The Sundara doesn't need warmth, and I don't want to add warmth to an already super warm headphone. But the Celesti, because it's so capable, it can take advantage of the addition of slightly more bass response that the Pokey 2 offers. Um, and it can also play with the EQ filters and still sound really good. Whereas these other two headphones either don't get changed a whole lot or just don't change for the better. So that's kind of why I paired these each with their specific headphones. Okay, so one of the things that I wanted to cover here was talking about some of the pros and the cons of the sounds as systems versus the other headphones, because it's not actually as clear as more expensive is better in some cases. In some cases it is, but in some cases it's actually not. So straight up, if you saw the review, this won't be a surprise, but the Sundara closed back is a very, in my opinion, weak headphone for its $400 asking price. I would actually prefer the sound of the AKG. The AKG is a little bit more open and the it's got like a more open sound signature. It's got wider sound staging and better imaging and better staging position for all of the sounds and instruments that get played through it. I think it sounds a little bit more breathable and a little bit more airy than the higher end, more expensive Sundara. It's also got more accessibility in the top end, whereas the Sundara is fairly muted on the top end. It sounds very muffled in there and it doesn't have very good control of its vocalists. And I do think that even for $90, the AKG has better control than this does. So for six times the cost for this system, I don't really recommend this one. I'm actually gonna take this one out of the running because I just, this is a system that I think if you invested your money in, I think a lot of people, you might be happy with it for a while, but when you heard something else, you might be a little bit more impressed and feel like you wasted your money. So this is a system you could do, but I don't recommend it. Okay, now we have $100 versus $1,400. Surprising comparison. Now, in totality of sound signature, these are not comparable. The Focal is a much higher class sounding headphone. The treble response is a lot more pristine and precise and has much better timbre characteristics. One of the weaker components of this in this comparison, which is totally unfair, by the way, is its timbre is just uh, a little bit more one noted. It doesn't really have as much flexibility between the strings and the woodwinds and the, the metallics. It just doesn't have that super flavorful, uh, very kind of unique sounding top end that the Celesti has, as you would expect actually. In terms of sound staging, they're actually fairly equivalent. I do feel like the Celesti is a little bit better, but uh, for the price comparison, I think the AKG is very competitive. For bass response, Fidelity again goes to the Focal, but then you have the addition of the DAC and amp, which allows this to hit even harder in the bass response than that headphone. Now, 
you can get more bass out of it, but I feel like this just responds better to the EQ changes of the Pokey and the warmer nature of the Pokey than the AKG does. It responds to it, just not quite as well. It doesn't sound quite as good as the Focal does. And again, through the mid range, you see a notable improvement you know, between these two. So if for some reason you're comparing these two systems, I don't think these compare, even though I do think that this AKG does beat that uh, Sundara in my opinion. Now a system that you could do and actually come in a little bit cheaper and get sort of the best of all worlds would be the Moon River and the AKG and the Celeste. So this Moon River is actually a very powerful amplifier and you can use it as a desktop amplifier if you want. So versus the $1,400 of this system, I'd probably spend $1,300 on this system instead. One, with these headphones, the additional power that the Pokey 2 is not necessary, not compared to something like the Moon River. The sound quality differences are also nice, but I feel like most of the time I don't end up using them and don't really need them over the very good sound quality of the Moon River. So if this is just my personal money, I'd probably orient it towards the Moon River. So why the two headphones? One, two different flavors of sound is always a good thing. And it's gonna be more different than just changing EQ options, which is nice. But also like, you know, traveling with a thousand dollar headphone is a little like pretentious, <laughs> just a little bit. But traveling with the Moon River or a $10, you know, iPhone dongle and the AKG, which folds up really nicely and sounds really good on the go. Um, I think that would be the move for me. Uh, and then just keeping this at home for like, you know, the, the sitting at home, high quality listening, just got to tune the world out. That's sort of where I would use this. So those were sort of a three and sort of kind of four actually different audio file systems for closed back headphones that you could do. Personally, this is a little unfair to the Sundara. I knew coming in that I didn't like it. Uh, you knew coming in that I didn't like it. And these two headphones I do like quite a lot, but I wanted to explain a little bit more as to why I would pick certain options versus others and your different amplification options and benefits. I'll drop links to everything I talked about in the description down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.